Hey dear viewer, as you probably already can tell from the title, and no, it's not clickbait this time, but this video is about how I plan to do 99 divination and 120 invention. And I know what you're thinking, but MM9, your current goal is 99 crafting, and you haven't even worked on that in two months. What's the deal, man? Are you quitting with the crafting? Is it too hard for you? Yeah, that's what it may look like. But it's nothing like that at all. My method of crafting demands a lot of attention. And for the last two months, I've actually done, for the most part, AFK things. And yeah, killing the Queen Black Dragon, that's kinda hard to do AFK, isn't it? I'm not wooks, you know. So that is the reason why I haven't been working on Nighting and Crafting that much. And that is also the reason why I'm uploading this video right now. Divination is a very AFKable skill. And since divination and invention are intertwined, that means invention is that too. Also, as self-sufficient player, I love intertwined skills. However, the way most people train invention, that's not very AFK, that's true. But I'm not most players. Judging by the title of this video, you know what I'm going to do for invention already. But more details later. First, I want to talk a bit about my divination history. So far, I've only converted the memories that I've harvested to energy. So I didn't convert to XP, nor enhanced XP. Well, I did convert to XP once, but that was an accident. And I cut that out really fast. So I think, like, one Pale Wisp was uh, converted into XP? So yeah, I didn't lose a lot of XP there. As my divination level progressed, I moved on to different areas too. I always trained at the highest level colony I could. Well, that was until I completed Fate of the Gods. Since that moment, I trained non-stop at the Elder Colony. From all the energy, the Elders provide the best profit. Well, besides Incandescent, but obviously I haven't trained there yet, as I'm still unable to. Level 94 Divination, you know. I did also get a lot of Divination XP from another source, and that is from the Majorat Memories. I remember gaining a significant amount of levels during that. But damn, it was worth it. The stories are, are magnificent. If you haven't done that, and if you haven't read the books, definitely check it out. Another thing I want to mention is that I haven't made any boons yet. No pale boons, no elder boons, nothing. Why? Because I believe that increases the XP. And something that increases the XP also reduces the profit per XP. And since that's pretty much my goal on RuneScape at the moment, since that's my kind of thing, yeah, that's not for me. And that's why I haven't made any boons yet. Yet. And let me show you the energy that I've gathered so far. The numbers that jump out are, uh, 103k brilliant energy. That's pretty brilliant, isn't it? 220k vibrant energy. Yeah. That's making me vibrate. 424k lustrous energy. Honestly, I can't make a joke on that because I don't really know what lustrous means. Give me a break, guys. English isn't my native language. But the thing that stands out the most by far, the thing that dwarfs all other energy collection is my elder collection. Just look at it. 3,234k. Has anyone literally seen a bigger collection? It's probably out there though, I don't know. But hey you guys, at least you saw it here. And it's worth 760 mil GP. 760 mil! From all skills, that's probably the most profit I made so far. And the thing is, I'm not even 95 in it! Well, actually, I said 760 mil, but that's just elders! Combined with the other energy, it's 864 mil. And that's the loot from level 94 divination. Just imagine the kind of profit I'll have at 99 divination. And let me tell you what I plan to do for that. Since I'm level 94 divination, I'm going to continue until level 95 at the Elder Colony. Well, at the Elder Halls, I should say that. When I do reach level 95, I'm going to sell all my energy. It sounds stupid, I know. It may sound like it's a better idea if I were to use it for invention, but I see it differently. Did you know that selling the Elder Energy is actually better profit than what I plan to make for invention? Because yes, invention will be profitable. So yeah, that is why I plan to sell the Elders. 
Okay, I could use the others for invention, that's true. But honestly, I'd rather start with a clean slate. You know, just use incandescent energy all the way. So guys, you could say that from level 95 divination, that my focus shifts from pure profit per XP to invention profit per XP. That means that I will be making the boons. All the boons. And yeah, I'll include that in a video to show you that I haven't made them yet. From level 95, I will also be wearing that divination outfit. I believe that has a boost in energy as well. Correct me if I'm wrong. And I'm also thinking on purchasing that aura. Whatever it's called, I believe in Richmond? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna look that up when the time comes. But you guys already know what I'm talking about. You guys are smart enough. I believe in you guys. And yes, I've already said it, I'm going to focus on harvesting incandescent energy. That type of energy best suits my plans. And you know, it's a safe place. It's great to AFK at. However, when I'm not so AFK, I do plan to harvest some cursed energy. May the gods be with me when I do. Now, before I go into detail about my 120 invention plans, I'm first gonna go over my invention history. And, well, the start is pretty much the same for everyone. Everyone gets like level 4 level 5 during the tutorial. So yeah, I didn't get level 2 in a crazy fashion. Sorry guys, I hope I didn't disappoint you. But yeah, after the tutorial, you're on your own and you can pretty much do whatever the fuck you want. What I did was, well, just disassemble junk, basically. Junk, by that I mean, well, many things. Like for example, I'm doing a clue and I have to go into the Harazi jungle. If you enter that jungle, you automatically get some locks. What I do, I craft them into crossbow stocks or whatever and I disassemble them then. That's free junk. Amongst other things if I'm lucky, but junk is cool too, I guess. Because there's a junk refiner after all. And for the rest, I disassembled some potatoes, some tomatoes, some... You know, you name it and I've disassembled it. No crazy shit though. No party hats or whatever. But yeah, you get my point, right? So let's move on to the core of this video. My plans for 120 invention. And yes, I've hinted to it, I've said it in the title, I'm going to make charge packs all the way to level 120. Well, it depends if something better comes along in the future. Then I may shift to that instead. But at the moment, I believe charge packs are the best. Well, when it comes to profit per XP, I've calculated it a bit and I'm going to make a sick amount of profit. In a long ass time though, but whatever man. RuneScape isn't going anywhere. And if I quit, I won't give a fuck. Well, when I said that charge packs are the best profit per XP, well, that is not entirely true. The best profit per XP is actually an equipment siphon. But honestly, guys, for that you need like dexterous and precious components and I don't want to waste my time on that. Because that seems like a bit RNG based. Like for example, you have to disassemble a lot of shit to actually get those components. Because I believe they are considered rare. And when you get additional invention XP, that also means that the profit per XP drops. That's why the charge pack is still better. And that's why I'm focusing on that charge pack. To make that, I just need 20 simple parts. And I'm going to get those from Maple Logs. Where do I plan to get those Maple Logs? Well, from Kingdom Management or Woodcutting. I still have so many Maple Logs left. You have no idea. It's in the white digits. I believe over 200k or something. So I'm pretty well stocked up on wood. What divination energy is concerned, I've already explained where I'm gonna get those. You know, to clarify it for the forgetful ones among us, I'm getting them from the incandescent colony and from the cursed colony when I'm not so AFK. To conclude this video, I'm going to add some more numbers. I've already said that I'm 94 divination and to level up I still need 408k. Trust me guys, that sounds a lot easier than it actually is. If you've ever converted memories to energy for a substantial amount of time, then you'll know what I'm talking about. In order to get 99 divination, however, I need 4.7 million XP. I'm not even gonna try to grasp that. I'm just going to do it, whatever. Just BAM doing this shit. Well, no, seriously guys, if you focus on invention, that 4.7 million XP, that's insignificant. Yeah, seriously, what's 4.7 mil XP compared to 80.7 mil XP that I need for 120 invention? And at the moment I still don't have the slightest clue on how fast it's going to progress. 
or how slow. Yes, yeah, slow seems to be the better word. However, 533 XP until the next level, until level 11, that's nothing, you know. Let's just call it an appetizer. An appetizer digest would require me to make three divine charges. But not yet, dear viewer. 95 divination first. 408k divination XP. Well, guys, if you find this an interesting goal, be sure to subscribe. And let's make this journey together. See you in the next video, guys.